your girl Lexi and I'm back with another video with my girl Sybil. I actually created the monsters, so brace with me. She didn't know about All American until like what five episodes in? Um maybe three. Yeah, three episodes three episodes in. So I was watching All American. I'm not really a football lover. And Sybil's not really a sports person yeah. <laughs> herself, but go Raptors, by the way. We're also in the game. We good. So, anyways, back to All American. No lie, I saw the Mrs. Finale, and it was if I felt for everybody in the show. Coop, Spencer, Asher. He was possibly like a dick, but like you know, we'll he explain more. Is. <laughs> it's always just like okay, go on. <laughs> Asher, well, like Jordan too. Like I feel like if you're not real with yourself, then you're not gonna be real with anybody else. So I, that's why I feel like Spencer came when he came in. He but was more. Cute. <laughs> See, she likes the cute boys. You know, mm -hmm. she, she's a troublemaker. You're a troublemaker. How? <laughs> you know, I, I love you, sis. I love you. Mm -hmm. You know, China coming soon, so almost when I promote it, you'll you know. Anyways, so I saw Mrs. Finale this week. Yeah, so it was actually really good. First off, I love how Coop was the voice of reason for almost for every episode. No lie, with Spencer, with Sean, and everybody else in between so when she's a voice of reason you kind of you really do see her point in what all their lives and how they're living it so yeah. it, she encouraged Spencer to go for his dream get out of the hood you know what I mean this is a really great show Sybil by the way they didn't know what the show until three episodes in so she got caught up real quick I oh, created I a monster for real so when I didn't catch up so fast like she did, I, she I butchered I, me. I mean, I was really busy with the assignments, but then I made time for it, like, late night. And I just couldn't stop watching it. Yeah, but we're insomnia, so you should yeah. know me by now. When I'm tired, dead tired, I'm dead tired. But, like, what was your favorite part within the whole, like, what, night episodes? No. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite episode, but... I just really like the storyline. Mm -hmm. No, I just don't. I don't just watch it for the cute guys. So, by the way, who do you know in that before I want to show you the trailer? Who did you recognize automatically in the trailer? Um, Asher, because he was in Teen Wolf and Pretty Little Liars. Okay. And so. then you also saw Daniel, uh, um, Daniel from, like, Originals. So, mm -hmm. she was playing, um, what's her name again? The yeah. Divina. Yeah. So, that's what, you know... Where's my phone ringing? Like, what's going on? It's just so annoying. And two ways, that literally, the Mrs. Finale is so far was my favorite episode because it's raw, it's more raw, it's more real. It shows what everyone went through. And I felt for Coop because she was close to both Sean and Spencer. So when Sean died in a shooting, by the way, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, go see it before you watch this video. Disclaimer, gotta do that, just in case. You know me. Mm -hmm. But, like, when Sean did get shot, it's like, you would think that there's hope for him to get out of the gang, but there's no hope whatsoever. I gotta say, I felt for Coop when she's on the phone with him, and she hears her gunshots and everything. So it was very emotional, I gotta Especially say. Especially because he has a daughter. Exactly. Yeah. And then she had to tell his, his mother and the way the mom had to tell the daughter that her dad's yeah. not coming home. That's gonna be hurtful for both of them. You know what I mean? Right. So with all that happening, like I feel like Sean, things would probably play out differently if Sean was to cooperate with Spencer and you know the mom, yeah. Jordan's mom. If he, if he, I know you didn't, you ain't gonna snitch, but like to protect your daughter and yourself, yes. yeah, snitch your life, yes. your, your life away. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say that. But what part of the episode did you like the most? Of the season finale? Yeah, mid season finale, yeah. I don't know. Like, just the fact that I think the scene where Asher gets told off mm -hmm. by Jordan. Even in the. In the in yeah, because he was he's just yeah. so dumb. Because he's just like, I made a mistake. You, you always make got, mistakes. You, you could have got the team, like, they could have lost because of you. Exactly. And it wasn't and just, like, just like, in the restaurant. He was just like, oh, I can't, like, in the locker room. Mm -hmm. um, he's like, oh, I made a mistake. And then um, when he was like, I'm going to tell the coach about this, he's like, seriously? After what? After I won't this be mistake? able to play off at, be at playoffs 
And it's like, what did you expect? Do you not think about your actions and the consequences? Like, you really and truly am because to add on to that, no lie, when you're drink, when the coaches don't drink before the game, listen to the coach, you know what I mean? Yeah, did you not learn your lesson from that last incident of being benched? And then you slut shamed your teammates with, and your captain's sister. And he's lucky so, he didn't get kicked off the team in the first place for slut shaming his daughter. Exactly. So it's like, you're really pushing your limit, and because of the fact that Olivia dumped you because she likes Spencer, doesn't justify what you did either way. Yeah. But I like how both Olivia and, what's her name? Um, I don't remember her name. Yeah, it's so, it's so weird, because they, the they love the show. The, the, yeah, yeah Jordan's but sister. Jordan's sister. So we literally... I like how she didn't, she said I lied to protect myself because she thought she was protecting Olivia, but that was the miscommunication on her part. But otherwise than that, like, her friendship with her is so far non-existent yet. I wonder how everyone else is going to cope with everything when it comes back in January. January's a long time, fam. It's December right now. Like, we're, we want more episodes. Yeah, you know what I found interesting, though? Because, um... Asha got, like, benched and stuff or kicked off the team. His dad was like, go stay with your mom. And she's like, she doesn't want me. And he's like, you'll figure it out. So you don't want your son to stay with you because he's not on the football team anymore? Like, I was so confused. That's literally, I, th I feel like his dad is like, someone that doesn't want Billy Baker or Spencer on the team itself to mm -hmm. be on the team. They want an all, like... I'm not going to go with the race car because we've all been going through that a lot, but, like, I feel like he doesn't want anyone colored on the team, so it's a whole thing, whereas if you see, like, a different color, let's say, like, a white guy, the old coach on the, on teaching the, the boys how to play football, then he'd be fine with it. But the thing is, it's the whole thing where that gets me, it's like, okay, that's your son you're talking about, and your son is very impressionable, and she, he needs a support, so, but you can't support him anymore because he's not on, like you said, the football team. Yeah, I was so confused. So it was it's like, like, is that all you care about? That's, yeah, it seems like his father cares more about football than he does his own son. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a whole thing where the there's no more love there because he's not star quarterback. Yeah. So And also, your son did stupid stuff, so he needed to be punished in the most, in the way that he knew it would affect him the most. So, when Jordan found out that, yo, um, Asher gave the other team the playbook for their plays, but he didn't see that, oh, you know what, they got taught Crenshaw's um, playbook real fast. They did They did win. So, you know what, go Beverly Hills. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you don't do that to your team. And then it makes you think, like, can you really be trusted at all? Like, you don't, you don't, belong, to, you don't belong in Beverly no more. Because you would do that to your team. For exactly. real. Exactly. So it's a whole thing. No, it just Asha's just a really impulsive and stupid character. I feel like. I'm just like, he's just one of those characters where he's like, I fucked up. It's like, well, yeah, you did. Or he, he'll be like, I made a mistake. It's like, you didn't make a mistake. That was a decision. He's like, I've been wanted, through dark times. Yeah, you wanted your team to lose just because, just to prove a point in, of like the fact that they need you to win. Exactly. And that's the thing. It's like, when he said it to Jordan in the restaurant, oh, you guys will never win without me? That's like... <laughs> mm -hmm. You're getting real cocky now, kid. You're getting real cocky. Exactly. And I would have given him the benefit of the doubt if he was sincere about like him making more mistakes than he's supposed to. But otherwise, like I don't mess with Asher. I never really did. Like, Sybil, you know. I never really mess with Asher. I didn't like him. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't like Spencer. Okay, you don't like him. I mean, I just thought he was cute. I didn't like his personality. <laughs> <laughs> you like, I never really... I just saw through Asher. Like, he put up a front. And after Spencer helped you out, by the way. Don't make me go out. Like, I'll take my earrings off. Spencer helped you out. Spencer's a great guy. Paid his fam his family basically in Crenshaw mm -hmm. about oh this car needs to be fixed can you get this fixed and then he went out of his way which he could have gotten killed to and get the car got, back he wasn't even responsible for the damage why didn't your rich friend do something about it exactly and it's like you're the the thing about Asher that got me the most was I don't know how to be poor that, that was quote like, that line I was like okay I was like no nah, that's fam. offensive I was like no that, no no <laughs> you, you can't be doing this right now Okay, and, and he doesn't look poor. Did you see his bedroom? No. 
Like, what I the was heck? like, you look like in a house, like a middle class house like this. Exactly. That's what it looks like. So it's like, really and truly, you need to really... Next to him, that's poor. I don't know. That's why I don't like him so much. Like, I like Jordan because he's like, sometimes, what's the reason? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and he thought that Spencer was his long lost brother or something Everyone like that. Like, that. oh yeah, you guys are so, you, you, you two are detectives for real. But like, yeah, I thought he was some sort of like long lost brother for, you know, for Jordan and his sister. Because Billy was like, what's really going on with Billy though? But like, does he have a twin brother? I don't know, like, that's the thing. That's what Elmer can does to us. So are he, they cousins? Like, us. like, I feel I'm like, so like, really and truly, I'm so confused too. But the thing is, I feel like that's what the was in, in the loop. Like, we're trying to figure it out while we're watching the show. I can't believe they're stretching this on. Like, <laughs> are you seriously going to do that? But do you, okay, what do you think, comment below, what do you think about the ending of All American when the other coach told Spencer about his father? And what he to also told about Billy Baker and what he would do to come below. But what do you think? What about what specifically? So specifically when the other coach from the other team told Spencer, I know your father. And and your father would be in this position right now because, but because of Billy, so on and so. It happened. Um, and he would do anything for it, for, any, for, for him. I mean, that's kind of true. Billy mm -hmm. wouldn't do anything... For his benefit or his family's benefit, he's already doing that. Because yeah. he replaced the, I guess, his son's urine sample <laughs> just so Sweet. he passes the drug test. Yeah, that was the bad part on Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. I mean, he only got Spencer on his team because he heard he was really good. I was like, you really don't... He didn't do it to give him a chance. Exactly, like, it's, I'm tired like, of don't that. Don't act like you're all, like high and mighty and so charitable and shit like i mean he's it is helping him out but at the same time that's not the reason he mainly did it right and the thing is, is like he needs his star player player his son to play him. and i finally get it like you're trying to please your dad say jordan don't be pleasing no one but yourself just to add to that, because, like, you've been pleasing everybody besides yourself, and thank God you met that girl from the other school because she told you to loosen up. You did, I but the like, thing no, is, she I was a bad like influence. I feel like she's, like, playing him. I feel like she's, I feel like she's, she's playing doing, him, but she's probably he's, doing that to get something out of him or to distract him from football. Yeah, but she's, so she's they lose. I, I am with you with that, but the thing is, he's always so invested in football, you know what I mean? So he's everything is about like football. Me, so I get it. <laughs> Oh yeah, so you're a goody goody. I am. You're a goody goody. Yeah. She's a goody goody, guys. <laughs> She's a goody goody. By the way, I were in my like, besties room, you know, different atmospheres. My house is too crap, you know. It, it, it's a lot. So I thought about doing all American, um, Mrs. Finale review. So we're going. We actually did this. We're doing this today. So, what do you guys think? What's going on, uh, going on all American? If you guys haven't seen it, watch it because it's a really good show. It really keeps you on your toes, yeah. and it's coming back January. When January the seventeenth? Oh, it's not bad. It's like a month. Yeah, so January seventh, probably January seventeenth, January eighteenth. Yeah, January seventeenth, cause I saw it. But um, yeah. So comment below what you guys think is gonna happen next. What you think is gonna happen next in this in this wonderful series? I hope it's on Netflix soon, because I'd rather not go through these damn links anymore. Mm -hmm. The Go Movies is pretty reliable for the most part. Yeah, it is. And the thing is, like, I feel like we'll do a Riverdale review. Okay, first of all, this woman would not let me live with down and caught up on everything in one night. So this your girl tired a little bit, but she's still still energized. So this is me on my fume in my well, fuming right now. It's at this girl because she's like, You haven't caught up on Do you want some coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> it's, I don't you, drink coffee. Why? I don't because I it's like I feel like I'd be, I'll be like my mom. She'll be drinking fifteen cups a day. Yeah, but but okay. the thing is, like, yeah, I don't want to go again to that coffee and You're not too necessarily going to drink 15 cups a day. I've been drinking coffee for years, and I drink one to two a day. 
Yeah, but like after but after I was broke my first year of college. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. You. I went to Starbucks every single I day. I went like every once a week. When I am very like, cause I had eight AM classes, I'm Girl, so tired. Tim Hortons. And I did, I came to the LRC, so the Starbucks was right there. I just go right there and get it and quit and go class, not go all the way around to go to Tim Hortons. Like, yeah. really, really. Oh, by the way, comment below which one, Starbucks or Tim Hortons. Comment below. I mean, I feel like Starbucks has better. I haven't tried their hot coffee, but their mm -hmm. iced lattes are really good. Yeah, I have their iced lattes. They're good. Yeah. But like. I rather Starbucks, no lie. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is better taste in coffee. Akeem, by the way. I can't believe he drinks black coffee. I was like, ew. <laughs> Akeem was like, I can't stand so I would cook with the grande, vente, whatever. <laughs> I was dying. But like, yeah. So hopefully we'll see, you'll see Akeem in an, probably the next few videos that I make, you know. Are you guys so hanging? I don't know. Like, Akeem's the, like, he's so busy all the time. Yeah. So like... You gotta catch him on the, on those days, like yo, fam, you chilling, mm -hmm. type of way. So I'm, I want to do that. Literally, this this girl is my girl best friend from like elementary um, school, grade, grade two. school, grade two, grade one. No, grade two. Grade one. Grade two. Grade one. Who was your grade one teacher? Lindsay. I didn't but, have but on the playground. I didn't have Lindsay. But on the playground. No, the, we met grade two. Okay, you know we can go do do this all night. No <laughs> lie, so I'm not gonna leave y'all any longer. This is my best friend forever. This is mm -hmm. my sister. I live, we, live, we lived in the same building like for the longest yep. time. So that's how come we're like this. Now you're like a 20 minute bus ride. Right <laughs> so we're still pretty close. Literally, God could not, handle, could not handle us as sisters. So he put us as best friends. That's how he put us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing with my boy Akeem. Like, we, we fam, we fam. Like, we had an intellectual conversation. Like, it was and it made me catching up. It made me think how much we've grown mm -hmm. as individuals. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So I'm like, Akeem, you better come in one of our videos. Just saying. I'll for yeah, I'm gonna force you. I'm watching you. Anyways. Like this video if you love all American. And if you want to see Sybil in more videos, like this video. Comment below what you like to see next. Also, comment below what you like to see for All American next. Share with your friends. Mm -hmm. Share with your friends' mm -hmm. friends. Share Do with it. your family. You know, and subscribe to the grandma. channel. <laughs> and great grandma. And basically everyone. And your dog too. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love her. So subscribe to the family, the life family. So I'll see y'all next Sunday. Peace.